Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geeky Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. I had an email the other day. A fellow asked me, how come when I am doing my tutorials, I am moving around my scene, navigating, zooming in and out, panning left and right, dollying around, and I'm not using any of the familiar buttons down here at the bottom of the hexagon screen to to do those actions. How is it that I am doing it? And he wanted to know if I had various uh, navigational aids linked to hot buttons. Well, the answer is yes. Um, typically in hexagon, when you want to move around your scene, they provide these three uh, icons down here. This one rotates around, this one pans left and right, up and down, and this one zooms in and out. But in order to do any one of these actions, you constantly have to come back to this one, click on it, so then you can uh, continue modeling your objects. And it's really um, not the most efficient way, in fact it's the poorest way, to uh, model and navigate around your 3D scene. Well, the left alt key on my keyboard is the default button that Hexagon uses so that if you press it down and if you are using a two-button mouse if I hold down my Alt key and then press my left mouse button, whatever object that I have selected, I can then rotate around it. So with this cube selected, holding down Alt and using my left mouse button, I am able to rotate all around my cube and the rotation axis becomes the axis of the object that is, that is selected come over here to my sphere and I'll do the same thing. If I have nothing selected then it becomes the center point the or rather the center point of my universe my 3D scene becomes the axis point from which I will then rotate around. If more than one item is selected let me move this over here zoom in on uh, or get a little closer to my cube, if more than one item is selected and I try moving around, the axis, the rotational axis point is the point in between the two objects that are selected. And you see that right here with the little gizmo. So that's how to rotate around the scene. Now, using the left mouse button, I mean the um, left alt button, I'm going to use my right mouse button and that allows me to pan back and forth so I can quickly move from one object to the next rotate around using the right the left mouse button or pan by using the left mouse button and it's a much quicker and much more efficient means of navigating around your scene so that you can see all sides of your objects uh, so that you can access them quickly to modify them. Now there's one other thing and that is I use a three button mouse and if you don't have a three button mouse try to get one. Do whatever you can to get one. It's just more efficient because the mouse wheel is what I use to zoom in and out. So I got the two, mu to, the two buttons to, to rotate around an object. I have the, the right mouse button that allows me to pan and my mouse wheel which allows me to zoom in and out. And perhaps this tutorial should have come a long, long time ago, but I just kind of overlooked it and, and figured that uh, most people knew how to use some of these tools or if they didn't, they would quickly uh, figure it out. So. Uh, this is very quickly and efficiently moving around and navigating around your scene right here in Hexagon. So thanks for watching this video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.